Hi guys, my name is Karol Węgrzyniak. Welcome to Ads Courses, a YouTube channel where I give you the best performance marketing and web analytics tips and tricks which I acquired during my 9 years of experience. Today I'm gonna talk about the best strategies for setting up automatic bidding campaigns in Google Ads. We're gonna also cover some good practices and mistakes that you can make while, set while setting them up. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and follow it back with a like. Okay, so let's start. You need to know that in this video, I won't show you how to create automatic campaigns or change the strategy to automatic in Google Ads interface, but it's actually one of the easier things to do, so you will have uh, no problem doing it. First of all, we have five major automatic bidding types focused on conversions available in Google Ads right now. That is Enchance CPC, Maximize Conversions, Target CPA, Target ROS, and Maximize Conversion Volume, which is actually available in smart shopping campaigns right now. There are also uh, other automatic bidding strategies like maximizing clicks, impression share, ad position, but today we're gonna focus on performance and conversion strategies. So let's talk about these automatic bidding types a little bit. I'll start with Enchance CPC. Right now, Enchance CPC can increase your maximum CPC when there were historical conversions uh, for that keywords uh, recently. Before, uh, the Enchance CPC could increase your bid uh, by maximum 30%. Right now, there is no limit. When it comes to the goal of Enchance CPC, it's to increase the number of conversions while maintaining the same CPA or when it comes to shopping campaigns with the same budget. The strategy takes into account all bidding modifications like uh, mobile, desktop, uh, location or remarketing. You should use Enchant CPC when you want to have control and don't want to lose opportunities. For example, if you tested the uh, target CPA strategy and the results were not as you expected and you want to uh, have control in your campaigns, not only automa uh, automation, you should use Enchant CPC. Or if you have a fresh new account uh, without any conversion history, you will start with Enchant CPC. I highly recommend that you uh, use Enchant CPC rather than only manual CPC. Another strategy is to maximize conversions. And all you need to do here is just set the daily budget for the campaign. You don't have the ability to uh, set the CPA or uh, ROS. You just set the budget and the uh, campaign will try to generate as many conversions within that budget. And the goal is actually to reach the maximum conversion volume with your budget. So make sure you're optimizing for right conversions uh, if you have more than one. And this strategy doesn't take into account manual bid modification except minus 100 for example if you want to exclude something and you should use a maximized conversion strategy when your campaigns are limited by budget or you have a new campaign without any historical cpa another strategy is target cpa you just set the target cpa that you want to reach and you should set it up based on the average cpa from the last 30 days so it's actually a good strategy if your uh, account have some history and you your conversions have history from last at least last uh, 30 days. You could actually set up CPA campaign uh, without any historical data, but the the results would be worse and the uh, learning process would take a lot more time. And the goal here is to reach the maximum conversion uh, volume within your target CPA. So make sure you're optimizing for right conversions. And also here, the strategy takes into account device bit modifications uh, and ignores the other, except minus 100. And you should use target CPA uh, when your CPA doesn't change often and you have a long CPA history. So for example, if this, if this month you can pay uh, like $20 for your conversion and the other month you're uh, only able to pay five dollars for your conversions 
it's not the best strategy for you because it changes and the learning process needs to take time. A very important uh, thing here is that you don't change the CPA more often than once every 14 days and no more than 10%. You could actually change the CPA every week if you have a lot of data and you could change the CPA more than uh, 10%, but you shouldn't change it more than 20% because after, after you change it 20% and more, the machine learning process will start from scratch. You will restart the, the, the history and the learning process. So you need to keep that in mind. It's one of the most common mistakes. Another one is return on ad spend. It's mainly for shopping campaigns, but not only, also text campaigns. And here you set the target ROS based on your average ROS from last 30 days, just like in CPA. And the goal is here is to get more conversions with your return of ad spend. And make sure you're optimizing for right conversions if you have more than one. Strategy doesn't take into account manual bidding modification except one, minus, minus 100. You should use them when your, your ROS doesn't change often and you have a long ROS history, just like in CPA. And I would recommend that you don't change target ROS more often than once every 14 days and no more than 10%. Now that you know how each strategy works and when you should use them, I will give you some pro tips and point out some common mistakes when it comes to setting up and optimizing automatic campaigns. So first of all, if you're making changes on ads or creating new ones, uh, don't delete the old ads and replace them with the new ad. Just leave the old ads for at least two days. Why? Because with automatic bidding, the system is able to modify the bid on ad level, something that you can't do uh, with manual bidding. You can't modify bid depending on the ad text, right? Uh, but with automatic bidding, uh, the system is able to actually increase or decrease bids on certain ad texts. So uh, if you just replace your ads, you will lose the historical data. Another one is that you don't set target goal on campaign level if your target CPA or ROS differs between ad groups. When it's possible, just set target CPA or ROS on ad group level because your effects may be different on ad groups, different ad groups, right? And you just don't want to set up everywhere at the same level. Another pro tip is that if you're satisfied with your CPA results or ROS results and would like to reach new audiences, add automatic targeting to your campaign or create smart display campaigns. Okay, so now the most important one, remember that any modification in the campaign will change the stability uh, in the strategy and potentially in the results, especially when, you're, uh, when your modifications are, are big. If you're decreasing or increasing your CPA or ROS more than 20%, it will restart the learning process, right? The, the, the campaign, the the machine learning will start from scratch and this is something that you don't want to have in your campaigns. And the last one is just don't use target CPA or ROS in campaigns limited by budget. I would recommend you to use the maximize conversions strategy or manual enhanced CPC. Okay, so how much time will it take for the system to learn and stabilize? And the answer here is it depends. It depends on your conversion volume and the data, how much data are you generating. So uh, the more conversions you generate, the faster, the faster the learning process. For example, if you're generating only about 15 conversions per ad group per month, the fluctuation in effectiveness will be medium to high. And I would say it will be high. The reaction time for change in the market and the auctions will be slow up to two weeks and the time needed to learn will be up to four weeks and that's a lot of time but let's say we have another example we have about 500 conversions per ad group per month uh, that's a lot of data the fluctuation in effectiveness will be very small because we generate a lot of data 
the system had a lot of you know data to learn from and the reaction the reaction time here would be very fast up to six hours and the time that would it would need to learn will be up to two weeks because two weeks is the default time that uh, the, the machine learning needs to learn to learn and stabilize so uh, if you have for example online store uh, with luxurious goods right very expensive uh, products and you don't have a lot of traffic on your website and let's say you generate only one to three sales per day from your campaigns they generate a lot of revenue because it's expensive products but it's only one or three sales per day this is the example that i wouldn't recommend to use uh, automation i would use manual bidding uh, in this kind of uh, e-commerce because there is not enough data and the uh, the learning process would take four weeks and i think that the results would be worse than with manual bidding okay so now let's talk about how you can try to optimize your automatic campaigns when the results are not as you expected uh, of course you can change the bidding strategy to manual but let's say you really want to use automation here, okay? You should use this strategy and set up your CPA or ROS one and a half times bigger uh, than your target CPA. And after that, you need to lower your CPA or ROS by 10% every two weeks. Uh, now this, is, this strategy is very controversial and i would recommend using it only when you don't mind overpaying for conversions for about 11 weeks like you can see here uh, so this strategy is not for every business and i would recommend that you try it on smaller campaigns first but this is a situation i would recommend using this only if you really want to use automatic uh, bidding and the results were worse than with your manual bidding but you really want to switch to automation so with this uh, strategy you can actually uh, with time you can uh, reach your target cpa even if at start uh, you are overpaying for your conversions now what else you need to know about automation in google ads uh, these are some very important things to keep in mind the first one is actually very important and not a lot of people know about it so the target CPA or ROS campaigns optimize bids based on search term, not keywords. So don't use only exact match keywords. And this is really something that a lot of people are not aware of because normally with manual bidding, you can change the bids, modify the bids on keywords, right? You can't change bids based on search term. You need to actually, you know, analyze the search term report and add search terms as keywords into your ad groups and then you can change the bid for uh, for these keywords but when you're using target cpa or target ros the system the automate the automatic system can uh, modify your bids based on certain search terms so for example when you have broad keywords in your campaigns it generates a lot of traffic from different search terms right uh, but if you said just set up two dollars for your keyword, it will be only two dollars for every search term that this keyword is generating. But with uh, automatic bidding, uh, the system will modify bids on every search term that is generating from this keyword. And for example, if the historical data shows that the certain search term is more effective than others, it will increase the bids if the certain search terms are performing worse it will lower the bid so this is something that is actually very important and that's why you don't use only exact match keywords in automatic campaigns you also need to know that target cpa or ros optimizes bids for ads this is something i already talked about so uh, just make sure you add about three to five ads per ad group or more you also need to know that automatic campaigns use all available audiences and can modify bids on every audiences you know you could connect. So don't forget to actually add customer match or remarketing audiences or similar audiences in your automatic campaigns. 
you need to also remember that the more the more conversion you have the faster the learning process and if only you have few conversions per day uh, it's better to use uh, ECPC and the last one but the most important if you want to use the full potential of automation don't split your campaigns too much you need to apply a different campaign structure than you would usually do and usually you would create a different campaign for broad match keywords a different campaign for exact match keywords maybe you would create another campaign for your RLSA but here the more data your campaign uh, is generating the better the the shorter the learning process etc so it's not a bad idea to actually create one campaign with broad match ad groups uh, with exact match ad groups to connect the RLSA into this account with observation and this is the the campaign that can actually you know learn more and the learning process will be very short okay so setting up automatic bidding uh, or automatic campaigns in google ads it's very easy you need to remember that it's not always the best solution or the results may come with time but sticking up to these guidelines will allow you to use the full potential of automation available for free in google ads that's all for today thanks for watching this video don't forget to share your thoughts about automatic beaming in the comment section below uh, don't forget to subscribe and like this video and see you in the next episode bye